Climate change has become the major concern for the wine industry and many other sectors around the world. Hi, this is Pancho Campo, and I want to welcome you to the presentation of the Porto Protocol. Climate change has been impacting vineyards around the world, from the droughts in southern Spain to the hailstorms in the Douro Valley. But climate change can be faced if we all work together sharing solutions. And that's the spirit behind this protocol. Where did all start? At the summit that we named Climate Change Leadership Porto. It took place in the city of Oporto, July the 6th, and we had very special guests helping us launch the Porto Protocol. Ms. Irina Bokova, former Director General for UNESCO, Juan Verde, former advisor to Presidents Clinton and Obama, and Mohan Munasinghe, Nobel Peace Prize winner. But the most important figure at that event who helped us launch the Porto Protocol was President Barack Obama. Now, what is the Porto Protocol? The Porto Protocol is an initiative, a non-profit initiative, that wants to unite the wine industry and other related industries around the world with two very important objectives. First of all, people, companies, corporations who sign up for the protocol, we want them to do just a little bit more of what they've been doing so far. And second, share your experiences, your successes, studies, anything that could help the other members learn how to mitigate and adapt to climate change. But why have we chosen the wine industry? Six reasons. Number one, wine, I would argue, is the only branded agricultural industry in the world. Take, for instance, this bottle of this beautiful tailor's port, Quinta de Bargelas. It's the name of the vineyard, and the, all the grapes used to produce that wine come from the vineyard that you see behind me in the picture. If the climatic conditions of that part of Portugal change, the product, the grapes will change, the character of the wine could change. Other industries such as drinks, spirits, it doesn't matter what the raw product comes from. In wine, it's fundamental. Number two is the crop of choice in many remote parts of the planet. Once again, take, for instance, the Douro Valley. If it wasn't because of vineyards, maybe there wouldn't be any industry, maybe there wouldn't be any inhabitants in that part of the Douro. Number three, the wine industry, especially grapes, are extremely sensitive to climate change. Changes in rainfall, humidity, uh, ultraviolet radiation. Number four, vineyards are owned by families with great motivation. A lot of the wine companies are still in the hands of families that have a long-standing tradition in wine production. They have to preserve their vineyards and the future of their industry for the future generations. Number five, of course, the wine industry creates jobs and creates sources of income. It has a high economic value. And last but not least, although some people may tend to think that the wine industry has a sophisticated language, the wine industry does talk to the consumer. For example, millennials every day care more about if the people producing the wine have been respectful with the planet, are they looking after climate change? So it's very important the message that we transmit. Now, how do we sign up for the protocol if you are a company, small, medium, large, a corporation, an organization? Very easy. Go to the website portoprotocol.com. Go to the menu and look for the tab that says Members. And once you're in that part of the menu, first, fill in the registration form, and second, share any case study, any success story that you might have in PDF format. 
Very simple, as you can see. Now, how do we sign up for the POTO protocol if we are individuals? That, for us, is a very important category. We call it heroes, people that are passionate about the subject, about protecting the planet. Once again, go to the website, www.portoprotocol.com, and look for social media and start sharing that passion, that motivation you have for protecting the environment. A very important part of the Porto Protocol is the summit that we have named Climate Change Leadership Porto 2019 Solutions for the Wine Industry of March 5th, 6th and 7th, 2019, once again in the city of Porto in Portugal. This summit gathers the most relevant names of the wine industry and related sectors and features the keynote speech by Vice President Al Gore. I'm gonna leave you now with a video that we have produced to show you what the launch of the event was when President Obama announced the Porto Protocol and what the climate change leadership solutions for the wine industry is all about. Climate Change Leadership Porto, Solutions for the Wine Industry 2019. From the 5th to the 7th of March, the global wine industry will gather in Porto for one of its most relevant events in order to share solutions being implemented to mitigate the effects of climate change. US President Barack Obama launched the first event in 2018 joining the Porto Protocol, a non-profit program uniting the international wine sector and its associated industries. 2019's edition has Nobel laureate and former US Vice President Al Gore as its keynote speaker. This summit will enable all sectors of the wine industry to work in concert to ensure a safe and sustainable future by better understanding our role in climate change and reducing our collective impact. 700 delegates and over 40 wine experts from throughout the world will share how they're adapting to the impact of climate change while giving their support to the Porto Protocol. Wineries and businesses supporting them will showcase products, services and environmental initiatives at the trade show area of Climate Change Leadership Porto 2019. To register for the conference, exhibit at the trade show area or to sponsor Climate Change Leadership Porto, please visit climatechange hyphen porto.com Finally, I would like to leave you with a message from Mr. Adrian Bridge, CEO for Taylor Sport and the leader of the Porto Protocol. Just to remind you, sign up for the protocol, either if you are a company, an NGO, or an individual. Go to the website, portoprotocol.com, or send us an email on info at portoprotocol.com. Thank you very much.